Good morning. As December 2025 draws to a close, many of us are already wondering what the weather will bring for the start of 2026. The big question, will we see a mild new year or is a cold snap on the horizon? There's growing talk of a significant cold spell. Echoes of the infamous beast from the east are in the air. That phrase still conjures up memories of deep snow and biting winds that once brought the UK to a standstill. So, could we see a repeat this January? Let's explore what the science and forecasts are telling us. We'll break down what the beast from the east is, how it forms, and what the latest outlook means for the UK. The winter of 2018 is unforgettable for many in the UK. The beast from the east, officially anti-cyclone Hartmut, brought Siberian winds, deep snow and chaos. Temperatures plunged, cities like London saw rare heavy snow and red weather warnings shut down schools and transport. Storm Emma then collided with the cold, unleashing blizzards and thunder snow. Communities pulled together, neighbours helped each other, and volunteers braved the elements. It was a powerful reminder of how extreme weather can test our resilience. Remembering 2018 helps us understand what a severe cold snap can look like. It's why we pay close attention when similar patterns start to emerge. So, what exactly triggers a beast from the east? This dramatic weather event is famous for bringing chaos to the UK, but its origins are a fascinating blend of meteorology and chance. It all comes down to a dramatic shift in air pressure, high above our heads. The atmosphere is constantly in motion, and sometimes the usual patterns are interrupted in a big way. Normally, the UK is shielded by the Atlantic, which sends in mild, wet weather. This keeps winters relatively gentle, with rain more common than snow in most places. But every so often, a stubborn high-pressure system parks itself over Scandinavia. This acts like a giant atmospheric wall, blocking the usual westerly winds and preventing the Atlantic's warmth from reaching Britain. With the Atlantic blocked, winds shift direction. They swing around from the east, pulling in frigid, dry air all the way from Siberia. This air mass is much colder than what the UK is used to, Sometimes, a sudden stratospheric warming event occurs high above the Arctic. This disrupts the polar vortex, a swirling mass of cold air, and pushes that icy air southwards, straight towards Europe and the UK, as these icy Siberian winds travel over the relatively warmer North Sea, they pick up moisture. When this moisture-laden air hits the colder land of eastern Britain, it turns into heavy snow, blanketing towns and countryside alike. The recipe for a beast from the east is simple, but powerful. Media, high pressure system graphic, map highlighting, blocking high and Siberian wind arrows, a blocking high over Scandinavia, relentless Siberian winds, and the North Sea's moisture, which transforms cold air into snowstorms. That's how a beast from the east forms and why it can bring such dramatic, disruptive weather to the UK sometimes grinding daily life to a halt. By understanding these key ingredients, meteorologists can spot the warning signs early, helping communities prepare for the next big freeze before it arrives. So what are the latest computer models showing for early 2026? Let's take a closer look at what the data is telling us and what it could mean for the UK as we head into the heart of winter. Several major models now hint at a significant pattern change around New Year's, potentially breaking down the usual mild westerlies that often keep the UK relatively temperate during winter. Instead of the familiar Atlantic-driven weather, we could be looking at a much more dramatic shift in the atmospheric setup. High pressure could build over Scandinavia or Greenland, which would act as a block redirecting the jet stream and opening the door for cold air to spill in from the north and east. This setup is classic for bringing much colder conditions to the UK, and it's something forecasters are watching closely. The first week of January is the period to watch, with temperatures possibly dropping well below average, especially in northern and eastern areas. 
Some models even suggest the potential for widespread frosts in sub-zero nights, which could impact travel and daily life. Snow risk is highest in Scotland, northeast England, East Anglia, and the southeast. Any moisture in the air could quickly turn to snow, especially if the cold air becomes deeply entrenched. Even areas that don't usually see much snow could be at risk if the setup persists. If the cold becomes established, snow could reach much of the UK, just as in 2018. That year, the so-called beast from the east brought widespread disruption, and some meteorologists are drawing comparisons to that event based on current model trends, but there's still uncertainty. Models differ on how intense or widespread the cold will be. Some suggest a brief cold snap, while others hint at a prolonged spell of wintry weather. The exact position of high pressure will be crucial in determining the outcome. A small shift in high pressure could mean the difference between a dusting and a major blizzard. Even a slight change in wind direction or temperature could dramatically alter the forecast, so it's important to stay updated as new data comes in. We'll need to watch how these forecasts evolve in the coming days. Meteorologists will be analysing every update, looking for signs of whether the cold will take hold or if milder air will return. For now, the potential for disruptive winter weather is real. It's a good time to prepare for the possibility of snow and ice, especially if you live in areas most at risk. Stay tuned for updates as we track this developing situation. The Met Office, our National Weather Service, is echoing these signals, but with caution. Their long-range outlook highlights an increased chance of colder than average conditions for early January. High pressure to the north could bring wintry hazards, snow and ice are possible. But the Met Office stresses uncertainty. Details like how cold, how long and how much snow remain unclear. They use probabilities, not certainties. Perhaps a 60% chance of colder weather, for example. The key message, be aware and prepared, but not alarmed. No weather warnings yet, but stay tuned as forecasts become more precise. It's a classic watch this space situation as winter approaches. To understand why a cold snap could be coming to the UK this winter, we need to look beyond our local weather and examine the powerful global forces at play, specifically La Nina and the polar vortex. These two phenomena are major drivers of winter weather patterns, not just in Britain, but across the entire Northern Hemisphere. La Nina is a climate pattern that cools the surface waters of the central and eastern Pacific Ocean. This cooling effect disrupts the usual flow of the jet stream, shifting global weather patterns and increasing the odds of high pressure and cold spells in the UK, especially from January onwards. When La Nina is active, it tends to make winters here colder and sometimes drier setting the stage for more frequent frosts and even snow. With La Nina underway this season, the background odds favour a colder, drier winter for much of the UK. This means we could see more days with icy mornings, crisp blue skies and the kind of wintry scenes that transform towns and countryside alike. But La Nina isn't acting alone. The polar vortex, a vast mass of extremely cold air swirling high above the North Pole, also plays a crucial role in shaping our winter. This powerful system acts like a barrier, keeping Arctic air locked up at the top of the world. If the polar vortex weakens, often triggered by a phenomenon called sudden stratospheric warming, that frigid Arctic air can escape and spill south into Europe, bringing sudden and severe cold snaps to the UK. These events can lead to blizzards, icy roads, and widespread disruption. That's why forecasters are closely monitoring the strength of the polar vortex right now, looking for any early signs that it might be about to weaken and unleash Arctic air. If a weak vortex coincides with La Nina, the risk of a major cold outbreak increases significantly. The combination of these two forces can tip the balance, making a harsh winter far more likely. Of course, these global signals don't guarantee a beast from the east or record-breaking cold, but they do tip the scales in favor of more extreme winter weather. It's a game of probabilities, not certainties, 
That's why meteorologists are on high alert this winter, ready to issue warnings and keep the public informed as these powerful global forces shape the season ahead. With a cold spell possible, a little preparation goes a long way. Check your heating system and insulate pipes in unheated areas to prevent freezing. Know where your stopcock is in case of a burst pipe. Look out for vulnerable neighbors or relatives. Check they're warm and have supplies. Stock up on essentials like tinned food and long life milk, just in case roads become icy. Prepare your car. Check tires, top up antifreeze and keep a winter kit blanket, torch, snacks and a power bank in the boot. These simple steps can save hassle and keep you safe if severe weather hits. It's not about panic, just sensible planning. A little effort now means peace of mind later. Stay ready, stay warm and help others do the same. Heavy snow can disrupt daily life, but it also brings joy and wonder. If snow arrives and it's safe, embrace it. Build a snowman, have a snowball fight, or go sledging. Enjoy a walk in the transformed landscape, but wrap up warm and wear sturdy footwear for grip. Always choose safe sledging spots away from roads and water. Be cautious on icy pavements. Falls are common, so take your time. Never venture onto frozen ponds or lakes. The ice is rarely safe. Help clear snow for neighbours if you can, it makes a real difference. By mixing fun with caution and community spirit, we can all enjoy a snow day safely. Make the most of it. Proper British snow days are rare. As we approach 2026, the weather is giving us plenty to watch. The signals for a cold snap are stronger than usual, but details remain uncertain. The best approach, stay aware, Prepare sensibly and keep up with the latest forecasts. Simple steps at home, in your car and for your community can make a big difference. Embrace the beauty of winter but respect its risks. We'll keep you updated as the picture becomes clearer. Have a wonderful new year. Whatever the weather, stay safe and stay warm.